Hello everybody, Tyler Brown here, professional rodeo announcer. I uh, live in Belmont, North Carolina. Uh, this video is for the few of those that have asked about the 2017 Lakota Bighorn uh, four horse that I have for sale. Just wanted to take a few moments um, right here in the middle of the week between rodeos. So trailer is not uh, what you may see when you go to a trailer dealer uh, and look at one that is spick and span and things like that. But uh, try to keep my trailer cleaned up every week. Haven't got to it this week. Uh, it is Monday afternoon, uh, just getting back in from Georgia. So I'm gonna take just a moment, uh, go around the trailer here, answer some of the questions uh, in this video that I've been asked um, as far as any smaller issues with the trailer, uh, any major issues, anything like that. Um, the tires on the trailer uh, are fairly new. There's one that is brand new. Uh, was starting to wear a little uneven, so went ahead and swapped it out. The four tires that are on the trailer now, uh, definitely good to go, still, uh, a lot of tread left on the tires as uh, we move up through here got the awning out right now uh, all of the lights underneath the awning work as well as in the handle the uh, the door light there as well <clears throat> we'll uh, do the inside of the trailer last moving around here to the front two propane tanks uh, spare tire uh, located here in the nose fully uh, closed up when you close the bottom and the top door three batteries uh, underneath on the trailer one for the generator up top the other two for the living quarters of the trailer and battery disconnect just there to the left. Uh, I pull this trailer with a 2021 Ram 3500, have no issues at all. Um, most I've ever hauled in this trailer is two horses and uh, any of the mountains here in, in the Carolinas, uh, I can still run 65, 70 miles an hour. I have two air conditioners uh, on this trailer factory. It had one, uh, added a second AC unit uh, up top. Uh, on the nose there, it is powered through this outlet on the outside. It is not tied into the rest of the trailer. And it runs on this 20 amp breaker that is located in the nose. Uh, professional RV company here uh, close to Charlotte did the install there. Uh, 12 and a half amps will actually run that uh, unit up front. So no need for 30 there. 12 foot slide out. Uh, I occasionally redo the seals. Uh, as you can see up the side of the trailer here and replace the rubber gaskets. Uh, along each side of the slide out. Being an announcer, uh, traveling with this trailer, always have to have something dependable, so maintenance is, is key for me. I don't have time to, to be down or on the side of the road or anything like that. On around to this side of the trailer, the very first stall has always been used as a mudroom. It's probably a little cluttered right now, but um, that is the front stall. On to the mangers, a lot of great storage here as uh, you're familiar with on all the other trailers they do have lights on the inside at each manger uh, to light that up at night fuel for the 4000 watt onan generator 20 gallon tank underneath uh, that is uh, low right here on the trailer easily accessible ladder to get up to the hay pod the bottom part of the ladder there folds out so that you can climb at an angle very neat style uh, that lakota offers there hay pod up top uh, generator up there as well on around to the back. When I got the trailer, I took all four dividers out. I've added two of those back in. Um, so I have the, uh, obviously the stud stall up front as my mudroom, all of my sound equipment there packed in the number two slot. And uh, just recently had a horse in the number three and four slant back here at the back to add that divider back in. Vents up top, drop down on the head uh, and the butt side, all four stalls. LED lights that are on the inside as well as uh, load lights here on the back. On the tack room side of the trailer, um, if we ever go somewhere we don't have any power at all we can run the Onan up top. Then I use the smaller generator here for the front AC if they don't have 20 amps available. Saddle rack uh, can hold four saddles. I've got the bottom two taken off to make a little more storage over on this side. Moving back up into the living quarters of the trailer, uh, a lot of great features offered on this uh, 2017 model Bighorn. Coming into the living quarters, dual steps take you to the bed area. Uh, that way, if there's two of you sleeping up in the nose, you don't have to disturb each other when you get down at night. Right inside the door, your control panel, hot water heater, pump, uh, all of your lights for the uh, living quarters, the bed area. The uh, awning slide out buttons here, generator start and stop. Right now, generator uh, about 2,200 hours uh, serviced 
as uh, Onan calls for it. They say every 100 hours, realistically, it's been done every 100 to 150 hours. 12 foot slide out here, the table makes a bed, couch makes a bed. Um, no issues as far as any of the uh, appliances in the living quarters. Uh, freezer, refrigerator, three burner stove, oven, uh, microwave and convection oven up top there. Dual sinks here uh, in the kitchen area. Bar stools as you come in the door. Those ride really great right there. I know now the new style is they actually hang underneath there, but those stools ride really well. This TV also pulls out so that it can be seen no matter where you're at in the living quarters. Uh, in motion satellite for direct TV, dish TV, whatever provider you have. Up top, the thermostat for the front air that was added. And you can see it displayed there. Also up here, you have your uh, TV in the bed area as well. Uh, wonderful day night shades. It can get really dark in this trailer even during the day as you have these retractable shades on all windows that uh, can either be a mesh see-through or a solid. Once again, bed and dinette both make uh, a nice bed. Main thermostat control for the main part of the coach. Into the bathroom area, obviously toilet, all of your uh, breakers in the panel there. Sink, nice vanity over top. Uh, closet, a lot of hanging space up top and down on the bottom. A uh, smaller cabinet we've added in for some smaller clothes, that sort of thing. Great style shower that has sliding doors so you don't get the floor wet when you're uh, entering and exiting the shower. So uh, great options there. Skylight above, also uh, in the bathroom. Climate controlled fan, uh, if you choose to use that, can pull air in, push air out. And uh, another one of those also located in the main part of the living quarters. We personally just keep covered up, but cover can come out very easily. Everything uh, accessible to that skylight there as well. Guys, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. Give me a call, 704-898-1188. Beautiful trailer, very well taken care of. Just wanting to downsize a little bit. Make a great trailer for you and the family. Have a great day. God bless everybody.